Hey guys, Ben Bateman here for AfterBuzz TV, and we are at the Paley Center for Media for one of the saddest nights in television. We are saying goodbye to The League, one of the funniest shows on TV. This is the seventh season, and a fond farewell. They are premiering the last episode one night early, so we're going to meet some of the guys tonight. I've never met any of these guys before. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet Dirty Randy. Uh, it's going to be awesome, so hang out with us. We're going to see you at the end of the carpet, and hopefully we get some great interviews for you. Take care. Ben Bateman here with AfterBuzz TV. Dude, honestly, uh, I know this is not League-related, but one of my favorite comedy scenes of all time is in the other guys. When you're delivering your, yeah. your monologue, you're like, they did a yeah. lot of stuff in there, man. That's a deep cut. A, yeah. a lot of people may not remember that. Yep, it was the other guys, and uh, I'm a cop in that movie, <laughs> and I'm telling Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg the horrible thing that happened in their stolen yeah. car. And um, yeah, that was improvised, really. Like the the you know the director of that movie is Adam McKay, yeah. and he just lets you say you know whatever you want to say, and then you just kind of keep going. You right. know? So he's kind of off to the side, and he keeps yelling like, "What else yeah. might be in the back of the car?" You know, and I'm like, a "Mama raccoon gave birth to a bunch of baby raccoons." You know, soup a, kitchen is like a classic. Is that improvised? You made that up on the spot. I made up soup <laughs> kitchen, and now here we are at the Paley Center, where the vaults of TV and movies are stored and that's what we're talking about. It's so appropriate. Yeah. We made history with that one line. It's very good. It's very good. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. So, uh, I also love the show and I think yeah. you're, you're probably my favorite character in the show to be honest with you. Jeez. Well, you've got a very dry delivery. I just actually listened to you and Sheer on Nerdist. Um, yeah. I just listened to the episode and you guys are UCB guys. Yeah. Um, how much improv do you do these days? Well, a lot. I mean, you mean like, um, on stage or yeah. in TV because yeah we do a lot me and Sheer do a weekly show here in LA we do a show every week at UCB in LA about Facebook, Facebook where, show. Yeah, yeah yeah so we look at people's Facebook pages and then we kind of like basically make fun of those people yeah we don't tell them that but sure. we're basically making fun of them and um, yeah so we do that a lot and then you know it's all kind of blended over into TV stuff you like now I feel like most of the stuff that I get hired for is because they want me to improvise, you right. know? And it's great because it just, you know, it helps to have like another brain just coming up with ideas and sure. they can edit it out if it's not funny or if it's not good. So that's kind of what we do a lot of, yeah. Super cool. So the the classic schools, the like, I mean, Groundlings, UCB, like the sort of the superpowers, if you will. Yeah. What do you think about these up and comers? Like I'm a student over at Westside Comedy Theater right oh, now. Okay. I mean, so the smaller theaters like that that are really trying to make a name for themselves. Any opinions on the up and comers in LA? I would think it's all good. I think that like, and I don't know for sure, like I'm not as entrenched in the politics of the improv community anymore, but I would think it's all good because we're all trying to do the same thing. And to be honest, like, if I had to do it over again, I don't know that I would have the courage to do UCB. Because UCB now is like, ba ba, It's like big. And uh, when I was doing it, like when me and Sheer started, it's like me and Sheer and Riggle and like Cordry yeah, yeah. and Ed Helms and like Andy Daly and, you know, all these guys. But it was it, there weren't that many people doing it, you know. So it was like, it was a lot, you know, it was a good time to get going. If I did do it again, I don't know that I would have the guts, like, that I would feel like I was good enough to do it. You know? well, dude, you killed it, and I'm so happy to meet you. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a wrap, guys. It covers it. The League of Fawn Farewell. The, the last episode of the show premieres tomorrow on FXX. So we, we had a great time. We got to meet some of the guys. Check out these interviews and any others, as well as the best after shows in the business on AfterBuzzTV.com and YouTube.com slash AfterBuzzTV. I'm Ben Bateman. We'll see you guys next time.